Josh has, is in the finals of the X Factor. And there's three different groups trying to mine it. And not, not one group yet has got enough gold to feed themselves for the season. And I wonder if they ever will. Now, the only thing is, these people in Alaska, three sets of people, they don't think ahead. One of these days soon, uh, my granddaughter Chelsea is going to come on with me and I can ask her some questions. Hi, I'm Grandmother Patty and I'm excited because Josh has is in the finals of the X Factor. And I don't know how you are, but when you sort of pull for somebody on a team or in a, in a contest, uh, and they start getting close to being the winner, it makes it exciting, and that's what is fun. But in our lifetime, usually we not always are voting for the one that maybe will make it to the top. But that's what's fun about contests. And uh, I think that everybody should be excited about whatever it is they like in life. I've been watching about this gold being sort of mined up there in Alaska. And there's three different groups trying to mine it. And not, not one group yet has got enough gold to feed themselves for the season. And I wonder if they ever will. And they have the most unusual scenery, but it wasn't too unusual to me because I had to take a course once about gold mining and I was in Los Angeles and a teacher and I was had to go up into the gold country of, of Los Angeles above in the mountains and way up into the uh, high Sierras and we were uh, my son came with me and we were told to go out in this field we had to go through a gate that didn't open very well and climb over another one and in the middle of the field was this weird looking contraption it was huge like ten uh, maybe bulldozers put together or something, but then they showed it on this gold rush thing. And it picks up the dirt and then it processes it inside the machine and then it puts it back out there. And uh, actually they said it moves a lake along. It actually picks up the water and the, the lake just sort of moves with it along where it goes. And then I heard that they were going to sell it to Alaska. So maybe that's the same one that's on Gold Rush up there. It was a very weird situation to see that thing sitting out in the middle of nowhere. Now, the only thing is, these people in Alaska, three sets of people, they don't think ahead. I don't know what you would do in your life if you didn't think ahead any more than they do. They need a piece of machinery, so they go buy a used one, but they don't try it until the day they need it. And then it doesn't work, or they have to get a part, and then of course they're hours and hours away from any shop or store or town or anything. So it's always amazing to me how many, how much of the whole thing has been because they don't plan ahead at all. And if we would run our lives like that, we would be in a bad, bad position. I'd like to add something about Steve Jobs. Uh, at the time when he was fishing with Mark, and he was fishing with uh, Mike and Mike's mother Gigi, and Mark's half-sister and brother, Vanessa and John. And when Steve finally caught a fish, he, instead of doing what whatever somebody else might do, he picked the fish up, and he looked in its mouth, and he looked at its gills, and he looked into its eyes, and looked at his fins, and looked under his belly, and looked at his tail, until he was satisfied and then he laid the fish down and walked over to Mike and sat down next to Mike who would never stop fishing and the two of them talked the rest of the day which of course is what they both wanted in the first place and they gathered around them people that would not bother them and they always enjoyed just having a chat with each other and so that is probably the last thing I'll have about Steve Jobs until I find something else. Uh, one of these days soon uh, my granddaughter Chelsea is going to come on with me and I can ask her some questions. Uh, she's here now, so I know, and she said she would. And Chelsea is a very interesting girl because when she was little, uh, she went into uh, gymnastics and she went to uh, the wide world of sports in uh, Walt Disney World and she won an elite pin uh, in uh, gymnastics and she doesn't wear it or ever never did wear it she just enjoyed doing it and she uh, had scored over 30 points 
which in those days was a large one, then everything she would go into after that, people would say, well, she has talent. Like she went in, she, she decided to be a cheerleader. And so she went into that and she was in the Pee Wee cheerleading. And then the uh, higher girls, the girls in high school, wanted her as a flyer. Now that's really a lot of fun because the group throws you around. But when I, as a grandmother, when I went to this school sponsorship, uh, we sat outside where it was cement on the bottom and there was a roof on the top to keep out the sun and on the stage it was cement again. And here she is, I'm way down here and she's way up there and they're throwing her way up in the air and the only thing if they miss is to come down on the concrete. So I'm sitting there like this and I was so glad when she said that she thought she was finished with cheerleading. Uh, they won the national championship. And so that was good. And then one time uh, they were having a little school play in the summer and she uh, flipped over backwards. And the father next to me said, well, how does she do that? And I said, well, she was in Fantastics and Fantastics is a great place here in Sarasota. And, it's, and I really appreciate all that she's had there. And so then she was in other kinds of things and everything she'd do, everybody would say, oh, she has talent. She even wrote her own movie, and I will tell about that on another time. So look forward to meeting Chelsea. She's a super duper person, and um, we look forward to seeing you when she comes. That makes sense. Now, of course, my son is trying to tell me what to do. It's something about if you, at, at the end of this, is a place to sub sub subscribe and put your name, and then um, and what else is I going to say? Just tell me. If you like me at all, you're supposed to push the like, L-I-K-E button down here. And if, if I'm one of your favorites, uh, you know, after you watch me a, a few times, maybe I'll be one of your favorites. Don't forget down in the comments, put what you want me to talk about. And also just tell us things that you want to talk about, which I've already said. And also don't forget, is there anything else I'm to say? Subscribe. I don't know why and I don't know any of this. I'm just sitting in front of a camera blogging away and uh, my son will take care of the rest, which is a good deal. But he's still trying to tell me what to do. I don't 